And this is where the identities were born. So we're going to have to evaluate the tangents of minus 105 exactly. So break that up. Oh, I see you're using the sum of tangents. The sum of tangents looks like this. That's the tangent of A plus the tangent of B all over. 1 minus tangent A tangent B. Now, let's see how that's applied. We want to plug those in exactly. So, you put in your A, all right, and you put in your B, okay. You're going to repeat that, all right, okay. Now you need to evaluate. What's the tangent of minus 135? Whoa, careful about that. That terminates in 3, not 2. Oh, good, you noticed that minus 135 plus 35 wasn't 105. Evaluating those guys. Now what are you doing? Oh, you're cleaning up that denominator. Yeah, gonna have to check that later. Clearing those fractions, multiplying top and bottom by 3. Looks like you missed a 3. Now you're multiplying by the conjugate because you're rationalizing that denominator. Ah, good. You caught the 3s. Now, you need to multiply by the conjugate. The con... con... okay. Foil it out. Foil it out. Ah, good. Conjugate. Yeah, that... that... yeah. Changes the sign. Keep going. You got this. Something doesn't look right, right? Yeah, this does seem kind of weird. Work through it. Think about it. Continue to foil. Good, good, working through it, nice. Difference of squares. Good. Clean that up. Now, I need to say something. Okay, so you need to be really careful with your signs. This guy right here, boom. The tangent of minus 135. That's not a minus 1. That's a positive 1. So that's going to change this sign, and this sign, and this sign, which changes this sign, which changes this sign. But that's not also the consequence. It's also going to change this sign, making this sign minus, then this originally was correct in being plus, which is going to change this sign and this sign, and then everything turns out to be a positive 2 plus root 3. You should definitely rework that until you get a positive 2 root 3.